The son of a headmaster in Trinidad, 26-year-old Alfred Waddell was the hope of the family. He set sail for New York with his young bride, Amelia Maria, burning with the hope of becoming a doctor. Amelia juggled work and a growing family, while Alfred got his pre-medical degree. He set his sights on Dalhousie Medical School in Nova Scotia. He had a lot riding on his degree, and Alfred was ready to work hard for it. But he was not prepared for the extent of prejudice against blacks in Nova Scotia at that time. Well, at that time in Halifax, racial discrimination was rampant. Most students who came from the Caribbean or for other countries who uh, had a dark skin were not welcome. If Alfred felt resentment from some, he didn't let it affect his compassion for the less privileged. He was one of the few doctors who made house calls in Africville, home to many black Nova Scotians. Alfred put pressure on the city and lobbied for basic amenities. He tried to get the government to give them proper uh, indoor plumbing, heating, that sort of thing, which was never done. For years, Alfred and Amelia harbored thoughts of returning to Trinidad one day, but with all the hard work, the children in university soon to start their own families. That decision kept getting put off. Then finally, time ran out. Alfred Waddell will always be remembered as a quiet but effective champion of human rights in Canada. He didn't live long enough to see the fruits of his work, but his care and compassion paved the way to a better, healthier, and more just society. Canada, and fulfill my duties.